We're at the New River Sport and Fitness opening today. Uh, how do you see the game going? Um, well, having looked at the opposition, I think that uh, the Spurs legends will have a, a game on their hands, but generally the experience gets them through and they manage to, uh, manage to win. Yeah, and just a word on your uh, former club. How did you view Pochettino's first season at the helm? I thought it was very encouraging and um, I think that, that what the fans see is young players being given a chance coming in doing really well and that gives a bit of um, a bit of a better feeling to everything from the fans. It's, it's all very well making new signings for plenty of money but when you've got young players who have more of an affinity with the club, who have grown up with the club and the fans see them coming through, I think that just gives everyone a bit more heart, you know, and pulls everyone together a bit more. So, I think the fact that, that Pochettino was prepared to do that, um, probably off the back of how things have gone, you know, got them involved in the season before, but he continued that, developed them even further, and uh, I think the future is looking very bright. Yeah, well, obviously it was Harry Kane, but former midfielders like yourself, Nabil Ben Taleb, Ryan Mason, they're breaking through. How impressed were you with them last season? Very impressed, very impressed with both of them, and um, especially for Ryan because he'd. he'd, he'd um, been around quite a while actually and, and he's not, not a real youngster and he's had to really persevere and, and he's been out on loan and a, a, a number of times but uh, really forced his way in and I think that determination again gets the fans behind you and, and gives, gets them on your side even more. Yeah well we'll touch on Harry Kane, amazing season last season. Uh, how do you think that added pressure will affect him going into this season? Well Harry seems to be a, a very level-headed chap. Um, he seems to say the right things on interview, he conducts himself very, very well. You know, I, I see him around the club quite a lot and he's just always got time for everybody. And I don't think that will change Harry be exactly the same. I think he'll handle the added pressure, uh, the expectation, I think he'll be able to handle it. Um, and he's, he's definitely got the ability to handle it and I'm sure with his, the way he's mentally, I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah, well, obviously you had a testimony at Tottenham yourself. We had Lely Kings last year. Uh, with the nature of the modern game, do you think it will be a while before we see another Spurs player have a testimonial? I hope not. I hope not. If you, if, um, if you do, it means that people are staying at the club for longer times and it's generally a young player who's come through. So just to say that it might not be a Harry Kane or someone like that who stayed for that, for that length of time and has seen the club on to success and, and, and stays with Tom. And finally, like I asked uh, Justin, we're going to ask you to run through your Tottenham 1 to 11 from your time with the club. OK, uh, Ray Clements in goal, uh, Justin left back, um, Sol Campbell, Richard Goff, uh, right back, Steve Perham, um, midfield, we'll go with Gaza, Glenn Hoddle, Ozzy, Chris Waddle. That'll leave me two, it's tricky. Yeah. I'll go with Teddy and Klinsman, Gary Lineker on the bench, it's harsh, but uh, yeah, I think I'll go with Teddy and Klinsman. All right, David, thanks for your time, mate. Pleasure. Thank you.